All right, folks, here we are, Tommy Coward on the lawn and at the pond, and I'm seeing a little greenback heron. Well, what we're doing today here in the pond, no trespassing, but I live right here. Um, we'll be dying this pond. I just cleaned it up with some Q-Train Plus, dye quat, and a little bit of clipper. And what I'm going to do now to prevent a lot of algae growth is dye the pond blue using this uh, dye, pond dye, lakes and streams dye pack. What this is is a soluble pack of the dye. It's in here in an easy pack, plastic pack. What I thought I'd do is take this little shovel, the way I'm going to fling it out here, green back here. I like to do things with my uh, GoPro in one hand. Oh, green back. He's going to take off. I think I'll put it over here. Kind of get down in here and see if we can't fling it out. And you'll see how it's dispersed in the water. But this pond, there goes that green back. Um, this pond really gets over abundance of algae. As you can see, it's pretty clean now. It's had a lot of water flow into it. But just about a week ago, it was completely 100% covered with algae. But what I'm planning on doing is seeing if I can't get this soluble pack onto this shovel. It's been a resurgence of, uh, see if that little pack will, oh, no, it, it's not. It's, it's uh, already busted open. So what we're going to do, plan B. All right, let me cut this off. Just a second. Bear with me. All right, folks, I just dumped a little bit in here. And as you can see how that is making a run out into the pond. Let's see. See this? You don't want to get any of this dye. This dye is safe for fish. Okay, I'm getting to the point now where I can kind of get the dye pack out by itself. It did bust open in the bag. What I'm going to do now, if you can see this, is I'm gonna fling this guy out. There it went. All right, it will dissolve. And what this is gonna do is turn the entire pond blue. That little water dispersible pack that's right there, it's going to uh, dissolve, release the dye. I think I might just make a few waves. Get some water flowing out to it. Not much, just a few. Stuff moving. Let's see that. If I create some waves over here on this shoreline, I will uh, get this pond moving. Get the whole thing covered. This is one of the safest and most economical and um, effective ways to control algae in a pond. It's to get the light. Because this, this pond is relatively shallow, especially down at this end. As you can see, my little wake, my little waves are moving that pond. I'll come back here in about an hour and the thing will be solid blue. All right, folks. Well, that's it for now. That's the application of the... Uh, saw you pack you know um, the application rate is one pack per acre foot you basically take the area of this times four this is about it's a good 10,000 square foot surface area so this is right at 40,000 square feet one acre surface area this is just enough this will probably last about a month depending on the rain we get but hopefully keep us nice and clean for at least another month, you know, and then you uh, reapply. All right, folks, we'll take a look at this in a little, just a little bit. All right, have a great one. Bye-bye. All right, folks, so it's been about 10 minutes and probably about a quarter of the coverage. You can still see a little bit of the uh, bag floating there. Got some wind, but it has spread all the way down there. And you can see how much darker it is where that's traveled. 
but this should cover over time within the next few hours the entire pond so we'll come back and take a look at it then it's a little different some people don't like the way that looks and you can also get this in black but that's the blue and it will really keep the light from penetrating in and causing the algae bloom all right folks we'll see you in a little bit we'll see if we can't get this pond to turn completely blue all right folks end of the day here wrapping it up i just got home and this is what it looks like the blue dye pond dye As you can see it's really dark in the pond the light is not penetrating down through that body of water to cause it to really energize the algae that's in there and it'll really help keep this pond good and clean it looks a little strange you know it's not a natural color you can get this in black um, I don't mind it it looks a little tropical sort of but hey the purpose of this is to control algae growth and other weed growth that's in this pond so that's the key to me and I'll keep it it'll stay clean for about a month it'll have to be treated again when that starts to fade but uh, boy I tell you what that dye is a mess I don't care if you're dealing with the liquid or if you're dealing with the powder or the pla the packs it's almost inevitable that you're gonna get some on you and after I filmed this morning I went and found out it was streaked all over my face just a little bit it doesn't take much that stuff is it just has a way it's uncanny of getting on you like die quad if you can see a little drip of that that burn my face um all right folks well that's it for pond dye and hopefully we'll keep this nice and clean for a good month before we have to treat it again all right signing out